Please come find me if you have any questions about Gotham Hello. or classes or what we have coming up at the reading room. And for now, at I will hand Bryant things over Park. to your teacher, Kelly. Here comes the reading room. We're just outside the library. Are you ready? Just, okay. Hi, can you hear me okay? Okay, cool. So, um, thanks for coming. We're going to talk about memoir writing tonight. And the thing that I, I wanted to start off with is memoir is a story of your life. Emphasis not on life, but a, because you're telling one story of your life. You, your life is full of many stories. You're not telling a, the, the story of your life. Everything that ever happened to you from before you were born, like how your parents met, how your grandparents met, until five minutes before you put down the pen, you're choosing a story at a time to tell to other people, right? So that they can figure out how to live. So um, one of the things that I, I think is really interesting about memoir is um, how many, <laughs> We can first off recycle our favorite stories about our lives and tell them in many different ways so we can get a lot of mileage out of one thing. Also, you know, there's no limit to how many stories we can we can write. Um, Maya Angelou wrote, what, nine memoirs, I want to say? What? Um, Mary Carr has written five so far. Uh, so there's no limit on the number of memoirs that you can write about your life. Um, Vivian Gornick is another writer who's written memoir, but she also wrote a great book called The Situation and the Story, which is a really good place to begin when you start to think about sitting down to write a story about your life. There's the situation, and that's what happened. That's the raw material that you build the story out of. It's what happened to you. It's the, this, this part of your life that you keep returning to over and over. And the story is different. The story is what you take the situation and shape it into, right? So um, Vivian Gornick wrote a whole book called The Situation and the Story, right? <laughs> to talk about this process. And one of the things she says in that book is, what happened to the writer is not what matters. What matters is the large sense that the writer is able to make of what happened. And I like that she used the word sense there because it's, we sense that there's more to the story of our life than just this thing that we tell somebody and forget about. If that's what draws us to I the don't page, it's a sense that Jesus. we need to share this, that there's something there worth reflecting on, um, there's something there worth considering, right? And then she goes on to say, the subject of memoir is always self-definition, but it cannot be self-definition in a void. The memoirist, like the poet <coughs> and the novelist, much engage, must engage with the world because engagement makes experience, experience makes wisdom, and finally it's the wisdom or the movement towards it that counts. So what we're going, so she's got wrapped up in that, what we're going toward, and that is the final product, which is a story that has meaning and purpose and that you can share with people who are not your best friend. Because, you know, our best friends will listen to anything, right? Like, <laughs> any, any rambling, long story you want to tell your best friend, they'll listen. But for people who are going to pay $20.99 for a book, right, like, you want to maybe <laughs> give it some shape and some meaning. Um, but also, she gets to the process of writing the story, where we are following our senses and shaping the story and learning about ourselves in the process, right? So let's get started first thing that I want you to do, I mean, it's a writing class, you came ready to write, right? Okay, I want you guys to think of a, like a short anecdote that you tell all the time. It's something that you you break out at cocktail parties when the, you know, the conversation gets a little dull, um, your best friend's heard it three times, five times maybe, uh, you tell it in different ways to different people. If, if I were doing this exercise, I would talk about the time that I got sent to the ER by a tortilla chip. Uh, so, you know, think about that, she still and I just want you to write Jesus. it. Just, just don't think about it, just write it the way you would tell it. Pen to paper, ready, set, go. Okay. 